right, so we are going to go through creating that jumping animation. And the first thing that we're going to do is we want to uh, create a velocity variable for the player because right now his velocity, we're not keeping track of it, right? We're just moving a certain number of pixels left and right and we're displaying boing when he jumps. So if I press the up arrow key, should move left and right. And in the dev tools, I should see boing. But what we want to do is we want to increase the Y value. And we want to increase the Y value in a specific way. So I'm going to talk, I made a little presentation to try to anim or show you what I mean by that. So a basic jump animation could look like this. It's just move up and move down. So we could have Mario sitting here and then like it moves up 16 spaces and then it moves down 16 spaces and that was a jump. And the jump animation in three frames kind of looks like this. Goes up 16 pixels, goes down 16 pixels. That's not very, not a very good looking jump because there's not enough frames, okay? A better jump would be to move up, then move up, then move up, then move down, then move down, then move down, right? Like break it up into more frames. So we might get something like this. Move up five, move up five, move up five, then move down five, move down five, move down five. About the same height. The number doesn't really matter as much um, obviously, we could change it to go up 20, 20, 20, tw down 20, 20, 20, if we wanted to jump higher. Still not great, though. What happens is it just looks very, like, rigid because Mario, that's not how an actual jump works, right? There's not a constant speed f as you jump up. When you throw a ball in the air, the ball floats up, it pauses at the top, and then it starts to speed up and come down. So it's faster right when you threw it up it's slower at the top of its arc and then it speeds up and goes faster as you go down to catch the ball so we're going to try and do something like that and we want to make an animation that looks like this we'll go like up eight and then up four so we're going up a, a smaller amount to simulate that mario is slowing down then up two then we'll go down two down four and down eight so when you look at it in a fast animation, it'll look like kind of like that. And it'll give you the illusion that he slowed down as he got to the top of his jump. And then gravity started pulling him down faster and faster and faster. And he fell faster and faster. So we get this kind of parabolic shape where, uh, you know, at the beginning of his jump, he's moving a lot. And then he's moving less and less and less until he gets to the top. And then he's speeding up going down. Okay, so that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, to do that, we need to create another variable. So we're going to create a variable, and that variable is going to be called, uh, let's just call it player velocity. And at the beginning, actually, we should be specific. Player, let's say PY velocity because we're only talking about velocity up and down his left and right he just moves left and right at the beginning when he's standing still he has no player velocity there there's no change in his movement right now so at the beginning we're going to start with player velocity equals zero okay now what happens is all the time we're always going to be taking his PY position, the player's PY position, update player Y position, which is P capital Y. And we always want to be adding, so adding whatever the velocity is. So if he's not jumping, his velocity is PY velocity is zero. So if I'm adding nothing, nothing happens. Okay. Now, what we could do here is every time we start, so always adding the velocity. Right now, there's no velocity because I'm just standing on the ground. I'm not, there's no force pushing me up like my legs jumping. There's no gravity pulling me down. So when we press the the up arrow, we're going to change the player Y velocity, and we're going to set that player 
uh, y velocity to, I don't know, something like maybe we go with 8. That was what I said in my, my little animation. So we're going to set the player y velocity to 8. That's all great. And if we run it now, we should be able to move left and right. And as soon as I do boing, oh, he goes down. All right, so player y velocity is in the wrong direction. We actually need to change it to negative uh, 8, or we could subtract the player y velocity. I think that makes more sense. So let's go ahead and subtract the player y velocity instead. Okay, so I'm moving back and forth. When I press the up arrow, he starts jumping up, which is great. He's jumped super high, but he doesn't start to come back down. We need to create a conditional statement so that as soon as I jump and I'm off the I'm off the ground, I start decreasing the player y velocity. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, if uh, and inside my if I'm going to talk about player y is less than three hundred and what did we say three fifty. So if my player Y position is less than 350, that means I've jumped off the ground, right? I'm not touching the ground anymore. I'm going to start to decrease the player Y velocity. So I'm going to say PY velocity minus equals 2. So let's try something like that and see how it goes. I'm going to run it again. I can move left and right. Ooh, it looked pretty good, but as I started jumping down, there was no limit to where it went down. So I'll run it again, and quickly, I click the up arrow to jump, and whoosh, I fall to the ground. If player Y velocity is less than 350, I got the jump up, but now I need a way to make it hit the ground. And when I hit the ground, stop changing or or reset the y velocity back to zero so that I'll stand on the ground. So I'm going to do something like, uh, let's see here, if again p y if my player's y position is greater than or equal to 350. So if I'm at that position or below it, I want to do a couple things. The first thing is I want to set the player y velocity back to zero because I've landed on the ground. The next thing that I want to do is I want to reset the player y position back to 350. That way if I fell, to, actually I'll leave that off right now. Let's just run it once and let's see how it works. Um, so I go up and I'm going back down. That's great. And it looks like it's working pretty well. Some weird stuff. I got some double jumping. And so maybe that's something you could try to figure out how to stop. But right now, this little uh, conditional statement makes my jumping look like a nice, good animation. And I can even jump. And I can move side to side. Looks pretty good. That's my biggest thing about a jump. If I wanted him to jump higher, I could increase that value. So I could go to like 20 and run it. And now he jumps super high. That's kind of what I was worried about right there. See how now it doesn't land exactly on the ground? So if I change my jumping height, it doesn't always land exactly on the top of the grass. So one way to fix that is as soon as you stop falling down, set your py value back to the layer or the level that would put him on the ground. And I think now I got some double jumps. No matter what, it looks like I'm always ending up back on the ground. And if I change my jump height, like maybe I made him jump 50, he should probably jump off the screen, Whew, all the way up, all the way down. Good. And this number here, the number that I set PY velocity to when I'm jumping, that controls how high you jump. So maybe I go back to 10. You could probably add another uh, condition right here that says like, hey, only allow them to jump if their 
Y position is down on the ground. That way they couldn't do this uh, double jump feature, but that's up to you. All right, there's our jumping animation. Add what you can. Create some stuff or some better a better picture for the draw player. Maybe you try to load an image in here, so that like an image of Mario and he can jump. Um, I don't know. Go wild with it. 